Hello everyone, I'm um, Anime Freak, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be reacting to Filthy Frank's, um, <laughs> Weeaboos. Yeah, um, this has been heavily requested for me, and many of you have been wanting me to do this for a long time, and I do apologise for not getting into it, uh, because, you know, there's been other things I've got to do, and all that sort of stuff. So, 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 so if you haven't seen this video, make sure you go on the subscribe to and then to that video, as soon as you watch that, come back, watch me, watch it, so I said, let me continue. Um... <sighs> Yeah, I think I know where this is. This is going, and yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm just okay. I think I know what a weeaboo is. It, it's someone who's like really like into their like anime. Like yeah, you know, they like to dress up as their characters. Like they play anime games, and they like to collect anime DVDs. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. I just want. I just want to point something out. I just want to point something else. I don't like weeaboos, okay? You know, you know, like those fans who say, uh, uh, oh, you, oh, if you, if you, if you like anime, then you have to eat Japanese food, or oh, you have to, you have to speak the weeaboo lingo." And guys, okay, I'm gonna say something right now, okay? Back, back in, um, yeah, I, I know you want to get to the video, but just hear me out on something. Back in the day, when I uh, started, found out about anime on, I think it was on, uh, let's see, uh, I think it was on, uh, I, th I can't remember which one it was first, I can't remember if it was Pokemon first, or it was um, on Sci-Fi, but back in the day, yeah, back in the day, where Sci-Fi was actually called Sci-Fi, with the S-C-I uh, slash F-I, instead of the S-Y-F-Y, ugh. But anyways, yeah, uh, back, at, back in the day, whenever, whenever it was like midnight, on Saturday, that they would always bring out a an an anime uh, movie or an anime series. I think it was like you know like a short one, a long one, and they would always show it at midnight. Oh, let me tell you something. Those were the days. Those were the days where you could literally get away with anything with TV. I mean, I mean TV back then was very very laid back, and you can just watch anything you want. But these days, everything's just so goddamn political. Okay, I'm getting off topic. Everything, everything's um, all political correct these days, and I hate it. But anyways, um, I mean, when I, when I first like, you know, so I get into my anime. I mean, the first time I watched all this violence, I mean, I must have been about, I don't know, about twelve ish, um, thirteen, fourteen, somewhere like that. I mean, there, there was some really fantastic shows out there. It was like uh, Ghost in the Shell, Violence Jack, um, uh, Bubblegum Crisis. I'll absolutely, absolutely adore that. Um, it's 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 most like you know all the all the old um like old nineties tint shows that we we had back in the day. I mean we didn't like have all this like high school uh, stuff like like we did like we do now. And um, what I'm trying what I'm trying to get at is, I mean back then anime just you know, blew my mind. I mean we had we had like loads of vines. We had like all this scientific uh, techno stuff that that like 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 you know like in Ghost in the Shell you you know, like all that scientific mumbo jumbo stuff. I mean that 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 looked like that stuff that stuff could actually happen, and I mean it it wasn't it wasn't like yo know, in school it was about about this um this secret uh, agency stuff that works for the government, and you know they use they're in this like you know utopia where like where everything's like machine and it's it's it was just so freaking awesome, and. Uh, there was like violence check, which was very, 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 very violent, and oh damn, was it awesome! And well, let me see. Uh, there were, uh, let me think. Let me think. There, there was like yo, and yeah, there was like loads of um, I can't, can't um, name all of the uh, all of the the series, but um, yeah, I I I remember very late most most of them, but I can't remember the names. <laughs> And um, there, there was like, uh, like there was like Cartoon Network, Toon Army, like um, Cowboy Bebop. Uh, let me think. Cowboy Bebop, Tenchi Muyo. Oh my God, Tenchi Muyo. Okay, some people might think, oh well, Tenchi Muyo is an error. Even though it was, it's an error. 
I think um, Tenchi Muyo was actually the very first Aram that I've ever watched. And even though I despise Aram's, Tenchi Muyo is actually very tame for a for a um, a uh, an an Aram series. I mean, I think I think um, Tenchi actually might have actually started off the craze of the harem. But I mean, it, it's it's still it's still one of my one of my personal favorites in my opinion. Um, oh, what else? What else did we have back in the day? We had, we had, we had, lo we had loads of stuff back in the day, and you know, Elf and Lead that was awesome. And it it every every single well not every single one but yeah, there there was mostly like like a nineties tent to um diff different types of storytelling. I mean, there was like uh, Cowboy Bebop, um, Trigon. I mean, there it was it was rare to actually find anything that had anything to do with uh, high school. I mean, yeah, there was high school anime there and there, but I mean, it wasn't like a, you know, literally every single one. And you know what? I mean, when I, when I first saw saw all this anime stuff, I was like, yeah, I was really, really, really hooked. I just I just couldn't get enough of all this like violence and all this, uh, dif different sorts of um storytelling and. I just, I just absolutely adored it, and then as the as the if as the uh, years went on, we 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 we, we still had good shows. We had like Gone La Gone. I mean, if you saw my actually, you know what? If you go see, you know, I've seen my you know, top top uh, ten favorite anime series of all time. You you'll you'll know which series I like, and um, we we had like you know, Fate Zero. We we had um, a Monster. We had Go uh, Gone La Gone. Emma. Uh, I got all my favorites over here. Or or. Of them on my TV, um, but yeah, I mean, if every every one of them was like different, and then, and then uh, something happened. Yeah, the the high school genre with the high school girls started getting popular, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of people's gonna hate me for saying this, but <clears throat> here we go. We started getting high school girls, and high school. And all this fan service in your face, cutesy, moe stuff. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna say this. In the beginning, it was good. Good to watch because I mean, when you've watched something as like heartbreaking as oh I don't know, like um, when you've watched something as um, as something as a, a lot of drama or something that's like very, you know, heartbreaking or something that's you know that that just cripples your mind into say. You know that that oh, I don't say it, that traumatized you into like you know into fear or or um, uh, if okay if you saw like the series Shiki and you see, you knew what the hell happens at the end that that you know you you will you would need something to actually you know take take you know, your mind off it and you know, just want something nice and um f nice and happy and friendly and fluffy and all that stuff you know just to get get you out of what you just saw. <clears throat> yeah, and you know, it, I think I think um, you know, I mean, don't get me wrong. The the, f the first uh, t the first time I was I was like, okay, we so we got some high school, and then yeah, we got more high school. And, you know, I I didn't I didn't notice until I was didn't I didn't notice until about a few a few years ago when anime started to go you know started you know being more about you know, like kids and teenagers and yeah you know, they're all, all in school like oh I I have I have to. Yeah, you know, I'm in a uh, I'm in my stage of growing up, so I've got to learn this lesson, and yeah, um, it's it's just it's just not as, I mean, with the older stuff, there was like, I mean, there was there's Monster, one of my favorite anime series of all time. Yeah, okay, I know I'm, I'll get I'll get to the video as soon as I can. I just want to just want to say something about the Wii It was just hear me out on this, just hear me out. With, um, when, I, when anime came out. I mean, I was, I was, you know, I, I wanted to, when I came, I wanted to, you know, learn about Japan. I wanted to learn uh, the Japanese language. I, you know, started eating food with food with um, chopsticks, you know, like with noodles. Yeah, I, I was very weebooish in a way. I, but I didn't, I didn't go to the extremes like you know, like, like dressing up or like buy a um a, a body pillow or an, anything like that. I mean, I would, I would like you know, if you if you see like my my. Uh, videos on how I like, eat Japanese sweets. Uh, there's that. And there's um like my an anime DVDs at the back. I honestly thought I honestly thought that you know that all, most animes you know, had their own unique stories, which they, they do, but they 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 tend to have like 
this uh this pass of like you're know, using um you know the the, si the same old um settings high school girls and it, and you know it it just doesn't feel appealing to me i mean it it only seems these days it only seems that like, you're rare that you would find like a really good series and and it is a thing uh i i haven't i haven't been actually been watching any anime series lately besides from dragon ball super yeah i know i i'm i'm a dragon ball uh, super fan but uh, there, there is um, this series, Attack on Titan, which I am going to get to uh, watching as soon as I uh, get, get the time. And um, I mean, there's like my my old, my, my old favorites like Trigon and Monster and and stuff like that. And I do I do tend to like watch like you know the older stuff than I do with the new stuff. I mean, it's, I mean, and you know, it's it's a shame because. Even though I'm I'm not really like keen on like the new stuff, which is like you know, high school and stuff like that. I know for a fact there are some there are some diamonds in the rough when it comes to anime, and the thing is I just don't have the time, like I did back back in the day when I just like would constantly watch watch a series like oh I'm gonna watch the series next oh I'm gonna watch the series next. It's like Gigi, Gigi UK says he says oh you won't have time to go through the anime that you that you do now and he, and he was 100% right about that i mean i don't have the time to go, go through all these anime but even but even even saying that there are there are some really good very good um, anime series out there that i really do enjoy um yeah okay I'm, I'll, I'll get i'll get to i'll get to the video now so what what i'm what i'm trying to say is that i'm an anime fan but i'm not so much as a weeaboo Okay, I just like to watch anime, you know, for for its stories like Monster and uh, Giant Robo and Trigon and all that stuff. I mean, th those are the kind of sh those are the kind of shows that, like you know the more upbeat, mature, um, you know, th th those sort of stuff. I'm not really really like into like high school girls and not so much cute. I mean, I'm okay with like you know like uh, like maybe a show like Lucky Star once. Uh, th there and there, but I mean, I'm j I'm just not really, you know, get getting it, get into like you know the the new stuff with all these high school. Okay, if you used to go on Crunchyroll and look up anime, I guarantee you it'll it'll have it'll have like a an an old list of anime. It'll have like um, high school girls, and it'll have have like they'll be all cutesy, and they'll have this the same. Um, character design where, they, where they've got you know you can barely see their nose and they're gonna have big puppy dog eyes and they're gonna they're gonna have short short hair or long hair and it 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 just seems all the same to me and and you know I understand why people c calls anime fans weeaboos. Uh, I mean there's nothing wrong with being a weeaboo but I'm I'm just not you know like into an anime like I used to back in the day. I'm a, I'm an occasional watcher. That's that's what I do. I mean if if there's something big that people are watching and they think, and I think, okay, I'll give this a go, like Attack on Titan, I'll give it a go. But it's it's a real shame that I can't go through every single anime because I mean, I've, I've actually stumbled across quite a few diamonds in the rough when it comes to um, certain animes. And, you know, sometimes the sequels can be sh uh, shit and sometimes the sequels can be better than the first season. But, um, I mean, it's it's like a Squid Girl. I, I actually adore the series Squid Girl. I mean, even, even though it's like cutesy and all that stuff, it's, you know, it's you you could you could say that it's kind of weeabooish, but it has a, a different form formula. It doesn't have like them being in school, and you know, it's it's about this like this little this girl that's you know from the sea, and she's got like a, squ a squid arms for air, and it's um, its premise is, you know, di different from from uh, from different shows, and you know, I think that's why I like it so much. It's it's funny and it's um it's it's weird. <laughs> But um, yeah, I'm I'm gonna get straight to the video because many of you are probably gonna get sick and tired. So get to the video, okay? I'll get to the video. So yeah, that that's what I wanted to say. I'm not so weeaboo-ish, but I'm more more of a casual watcher when it comes to anime. So um, I hope you guys t take um, take this lesson to heart. So there you go. So all that's said and done, let's get to watching. Damn, I do not like the look of that guy's face with, with, with his uh, thumbnail. Okay, just give me a second. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so this is Filthy Franks. We are booze. And three, two, one, and go. Yo, <laughs> Kusumi
ようこそフィルシー・フランクショーへ今日はすごい面白いものを教えてるよ俺のクローゼットの中にユダヤ人が二人いるんだ両方とも死んでるこんにちは、you magnificent bastards! I got a joke for you! Fucking weeaboos go to Japan and be like Where, where, where are the subtitles? Now today I want to talk about an issue that affects us on a global scale Weeaboos! For those of you who don't know what a weeaboo is A non-Japanese person who basically denounces their own culture and calls themselves Japanese. They try to learn Japanese through the anime they watch and usually end up pronouncing it wrong and looking like a complete idiot. Keep in mind that a non-Japanese person can like the culture, watch anime, speak the language, and respect the culture while still keeping in touch with their own, which keeps them from being a weeaboo. Here we go. Weeaboos basically disrespect the culture and make complete asses of themselves. Even if you don't know yes. the definition, you've definitely seen these guys around on the internet, at your local comic book store. In your mom's attic. They smell bad. They're disgusting. Now, before I go into、yep. this, I want you guys to realize that there's a difference between being a person that just likes anime and people that are full on, disgusting, unhygienic weeaboos. If you just like just, watching just like those Japanese cartoons and you're, you're, you're an alright person, go for it, bud. I don't give a shit. If you like to watch a little hentai on the down low, that's, that ain't my problem, you know? Yeah, you know, I watch that shit, bro. Sex and vertebrae. I mean, I feel you guys. My favorite animes consist of Toy Story, Cory in the House, airplane instruction videos from the 80s, you know, Seinfeld. <laughs> you know, we all like the same shit. I get it. I'm an anime fan as well. But this is when you have a real fucking problem. I have a katana collection. I've been learning Japanese on Rosetta Stone for like five、yes. weeks now. I've had so much sex with my body pillow that it stands on its own now. <laughs> my life is coming to life. Don't talk shit about Attack on Titan. It's a really good show. I've been really thinking about going to Japan soon. I, le- I know how to use chopsticks. I know hiragana. Because, you know, I don't feel like anybody here is on my、uh, anime expertise level. Oh, first, gosh. First, I have to get a job. That's, that's,、uh, that's the first thing. <laughs> like, dude, I get, I get that some of you like collecting weapons or something, but that's already kind of red flag ish in the first place. But if you're wasting money on, like, Japanese weapons that you can't even use. That's, that's, that's actually like a problem. You should notify your school. Just because you try and dress and act like a certain ethnic group, it doesn't mean you're that ethnic group. You know, when I was younger, I used to want to be Thomas the Tank Engine, but that shit never happened. <laughs> you got the notes right. We all have dreams. I just wanted a piece of Percy's ass, you feel me? <laughs> you know, I just wanted a piece of that helicopter's ass. <laughs> Dreams don't come true. <laughs> Face it, buddy, you're never gonna be Japanese. And changing your avatar to hentai or wife or whatever they're called, and being a self righteous faggot literally everywhere on the internet, it's not gonna help. These people、yes. with anime avatars are everywhere. Every comment section, every Twitter discussion, you know, everyone、oh, in the、gosh. Facebook comments. And you say one thing about anime, <laughs> and these guys will fuck you up, man. They will breathe really heavy and start typing on the keyboard really fast. <sighs> You sure showed me. <laughs> like, damn, who put a good old Rasengan up your ass? You feel me? Oh shit. Yo, a pigeon just landed on my. <laughs> Do you hear that? There's a pigeon outside my window. <laughs> Fuck out. <laughs> Also, the worst part is you think you know all about Japan after watching like what six anime series. Like, you believe、yes. that schoolgirls have eyes this big.、Yes. You believe that everyone holds a fucking katana on the trains. Nobody practices jutsus in the corner. And nobody talks like this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is so accurate. Masaka. Getting a body pillow and masturbating to animated 13 year old girls、Ugh. doesn't make you Japanese. No, it makes it you a pervert. It just makes you a borderline pedophile. Yes! And also, guys, as much as I wish it was true, not all Asian girls sound like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, de- I definitely woke my neighbors up. Oh, shit, my, <laughs> my neighbors heard that for sure. I think my neighbors are weeaboos. They probably think I'm getting mad pussy. Because you know I get all that pussy. <laughs> and it, it's scrump diddly u m s h i t As an outsider, you're literally praising one of the most xenophobic cultures that exists today. Irony! 
what you're doing would be like a Japanese person doing this, wearing a cowboy hat and boots, swinging a rope around, and going, yeah! Hello, my name is Cowboy Tanaka. A lot of people get defensive about this. Look, I'm always getting harassed by everybody to make fun of disease, you know, race, you know, black people, Jews, like everyone's like, yeah, do it, do it, do it. But as soon as I even touch anime, oh, whoa, whoa, too far. No, 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 Yo, please I'm do old, it. Like Frank, relax. Do it, you can please. Make fun of every, anything but anime. This is the Filthy Frank Show. Make up your fucking mind, bro. Like over here at the Filthy Frank Show, we support prejudice equality. Everyone gets shit. What do you call a white girl that can run faster than her brothers? A redneck virgin. See, look, <laughs> everyone gets shit here. You take that, white people. Follow your dreams, son. But still, I can't, I can't help but feel scared. Man, those, those weirdos, man, they're fucking scary. I'm not gonna lie. It's almost like I can hear them just breathing really fucking heavy and just pounding down on their keyboards. Full on caps lock. I'm not fucking around this time. <laughs> yes! Yes! What the fuck, Salamander Man? What's going on? Tell me, tell me. Yes! Alright, Salamander Man, relax, relax. I knew this day would come. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Apparently, everyone has to look like an anime character, Safari Man. <laughs> now, relax, guys. Me and Pink Guy are gonna take care of this. Pink Guy. Uh, you remember <laughs> the training? Quick, to the Weirdo Protection Chamber. <laughs> I knew this thing would come. Dude, please stop. Pink guy! Pink guy! Where are you? Hey, boss. Oh, there you <laughs> are. It's okay now, we're safe. We're in the weirdo protection chamber. Can somebody give me the pussy, please? A neck beard. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, shit. <laughs> it's spreading. The disease is spreading. Weeaboo Jones attacked Sharing Gun. <laughs> Weeaboo Jones! Boss! Boss, please! <laughs> boss, please give me a boss! Rotten Gun! I cannot believe I was. Oh Jesus yeah. Christ! Yeah. Yeah. Japanese, bro. I haven't showered in like six right. weeks. All my friends and peers are ashamed of me. Cause all of a sudden, I think I'm Japanese. Yes, I'm a weeaboo. Yes, I'm a weeaboo. Yes. 
Yes, yes. Oh, Jesus Christ. A filthy weeaboo. <laughs> Naruto so overrated. A dirty weeaboo. Oh, you wanna see Christ. my katana collection? A fucking weeaboo. I'm learning Japanese on Rosetta Stone. A disgusting weeaboo. So I'm like basically Japanese now. Rosetta Stone. Anyways, point is, you can do whatever the fuck you want. I don't give a shit. Just don't bring that shit near me. I'm a fucking hustler. I'm gonna say it again, guys. I have nothing against anime. I have nothing against any of that shit. Everything I just said could be applied to every any kind of other obsession. Like, just take it easy, man. Also, if you let a 52-year-old man in glasses and a dirty shirt tell you what to do with your life... <laughs> It's pretty, it's pretty fucking sad. <laughs> not as sad as a fucking weeaboo. <laughs> Silent hour bastards, I'm out. Peace. <laughs> it's filthy Frank, motherfucker. It's filthy Frank, bitch. Let's get some pussy tonight. Okay. <laughs> he is 100% Right, he is right. <clears throat> okay, do you want to know something? He is one. He is one hundred percent, hundred hundred percent right. Okay, let me let me put it this way. I mean, it's <sighs> anime is a fandom, and let me tell you something. Everything that he said is 100% true. <clears throat> but here's the thing. I only got up to half of, of what like most an most um, anime fans did. I mean, I would like, you know, say, oh, I, you know, I, I did, at one time I did try to actually, you know, try and like learn Japanese. You know, I mean, there were, on TV there used to be like this like t this TV show on on this like TV, on this um, Japanese TV um, news thingy, where they would like say they would like teach teach us to speak like Japanese, and it was like a rushko onigaisi mas. Yeah. <laughs> every every time it would come on, I, I would I would like you know, like you know re record it and then you know tr try and like write down all the stuff that they uh, they yeah you know, they just said and you know tr record it on on VHS and you know, tr you know keep them from later and uh, and. What he what he said about like the chopsticks and he says you know what I want to go to Japan one day that's what I want to do, oh, and I've had people actually call me uh, a weird boo like in the comment sections not on like on my videos but on like on different videos and I mean I mean I knew what a, a weird boo was it it was it was it was people I always thought you know that it was just an insult for people who just watch anime, but. Now I know what the what the true definition of what a weeaboo is, and it is these guys. It's it's these guys that we saw in the in, in this video where you know there was like overweight. They they said they it was like go you know, in their um in their uh, cosplays you know with with their uh, body pillows. Oh my god, you, dude. <sighs> okay, I understand now. I one hundred percent know. I mean, it's it's. I understand how other people sees us anime fans. I I know I know how. I mean, oh no, oh, damn. <sighs> okay. All all the stuff that he said, I only got up to half of what you know from what other fans do. I mean, again, I. I yeah, you know, I, I used I used the chopsticks. I I tried Jap Japanese candies. I um yeah you know, I, I collect I collected like anime stuff as you can see, if if you if you like see my room, it, the walls are full are full of like anime stuff. But I mean, what can I say? I mean, I was like very addictive to anime back back in the day, and um, now I've like you know I'm so, I've I've slowly you know so, stopped collecting, uh, collecting them. But um I am into like more of the older stuff, not the the new stuff and what he said about um about uh, excuse me uh, what he said about uh, the the Japanese high school girls I mean he is right I mean I've I've never 
had that appeal to like you know young female characters. I, I've just never had that appeal. Feel like what um what uh, mo most uh, fans of anime did. I mean, it's it's just not appealing to me, which which is why I. I'm I'm always you know, disgusted when I ever ever see like an, a high school high school girls in. Well, like again, you know you know what I'm trying to say. Um, speaking of which, um, I was having a word with my sister the other night. Sorry, I'm a, oh, I'm a bit, bit tired. Here. I was having a word with my sister the other night, and she said that she she and her and her boyfriend was watching this um this documentary about how Japan has turned has turned turned into a sort of um. It's sort of, of of a pedophile uh, nation where these young girls around fourteen gets pa gets paid to walk with uh, old older gentle gentlemen. It, it's it's like the old gentleman's fantasy of just you know being around uh, high school girls. And let me tell you something. I mean, I I knew that you know we, you know that I had like a little bit of bit bit of a problem like, in Japan, but I never knew that this documentary existed. I mean, I don't I don't I don't. Oh, let's let's see. I'm just going to check really quickly. Uh, Japan pedo pedo nation. Give me a second. I'm just going to have a just quick look. Just give a second. Girls use no 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 no. Um. Okay, I can't I can't say I was I was just trying just trying to do that, but um. Uh, my 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 sister my sister will lie to me. She she said it was like a a documentary, where um like, uh, like these like older men was like paying these young girls just to like, hold them and just be around. It's it, it's it's this. She said it was supposed to be like their fantasy, and dude, I mean seriously, that is not cool. Not cool. I mean, I loathe, hate, detest pedophiles. I don't. I, I hate them. I hate them so much. I hate them so so much, and. It's it's like it's like I said. I mean, back in the day, I thought to myself, you know what? I'm gonna collect every single an anime. I want I want to like you know collect them all, and because I mean the, the re I think the reason why I wanted to collect every single anime is because is because back in the day I wanted to collect you know, like the mat the mature stuff. I mean, when, back when in the day, I would always say that oh, anime is better than any Western cartoons. It, they're much better than anything that, that the West has ever done. And let me tell you something. I was very arrogant back in the day. I was very, very arrogant. And, um... Oh, oh there we go. <clears throat> I mean, I mean, back back in the back in the day, I mean, we, did, we don't have, like, um... Back in the day, we didn't have, like, you know, Avatar, The Last Airbender. I mean, well, I mean, I mean obviously, I mean, that was, like, you know, I mean... Back back when I was younger, I mean, when you saw like uh, like Ghost in the Shell or um, Bubblegum Crisis, and you know you see how like adult it is, and you see how violent it is. I mean, I think to myself, you know, this is this is animation that is very violent and ve and very, you know, ad well, it's violent and very adult. I think to myself, you know what, Western cartoons can't do this. I mean, they're not allowed to do it because I mean. It's you know the parents says oh you you can't watch this it's violent oh you can't watch this it's violent I mean I think I think the appeal was that you know because it was violent I was I was attracted to it and not only that but I I also liked liked the the style of it I like I like I liked how how weird it was I liked how awesome it was and back in the day I was very arrogant and I thought to myself you know ev everything is shit compared to anime I mean that that's how I felt back in the day. But nowadays, but nowadays, some of you may or may not know, but now I'm 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 an I'm an Avatar fan. I mean, it was it was like a few, a few years ago I got into Avatar, but I've got to make a, I've got to make a video about confession. Um, I have to make about that later on. I'm all, is it, uh, L, I mean, L, I've got the you know I would I would get the um the the, the comics. So I've got I've got like you know the comics of the Avatar over there, and uh, oh, let me see. Um, I've got you know the the anime series over here. I haven't got core I haven't got core yet because um. I've got to, I've got to do something. Um, I'm also like a fan of like My Little Pony. Yes, <sighs> Anime Freak is a brony. To, to those of you who don't know, yep, I Anime Freak is a brony. Yep. But come on, it's a it's a cute it's a cute series. I mean, it's, it doesn't necessarily need to be for you know just for kids. Come on. 
or, or do you think that do you think that's worse? But other, other than that, <clears throat> um, uh, uh, My Little Pony is a pretty a pretty decent uh, show when you get, when you can pass all the all the um. I don't want my kid. It, of course, it's a kids show, but I like it. But um, let's see. I've I've got like the entire South South Park uh, si uh, series right over there, and um, let me see what else do I have. I've also got uh, this, this is <laughs> this one one of my all time documentaries of all time, Walking with Dinosaurs. This is a documentary uh, of life when dinosaurs ruled the world. Um, now listen, if you haven't seen like this documentary, I highly, highly recommend it. It's one of my favourite um, documentaries of all time. There's also uh, Walking with uh, Monsters, which was uh, t uh, Life Before the Dinosaurs. There's um, uh, Walking with Dinosaurs, the, uh, sea, the sea monsters. There's um, Walking with Beasts, which was Life After the Dinosaurs. And then there was Walking with Cavemen, Life After the Beasts, <coughs> or, you know, During the Beasts. <coughs> Excuse me. Give me a second to put this back in. Um, and then there's uh, Prehistoric Park, which is two other docu dinosaur documentaries. Um, so, yeah. Uh, like, like, I, like I said, I'm... I'm I'm expanding my horizons when when it comes to um, other things because even I mean b back in the day when when I about I don't know about a year ago a few uh, a few years ago <coughs> so I got a bit of a cold um, I want I wanted this channel to be you know like an anime channel just just to um, you know I wanted it to be like you know glass reflection like Gigi Gigi UK um, and you know lo lo loads of uh, loads of other uh, uh, anime, anime YouTubers. I want to be, you know, one of those guys who can, like, you know, review anime, like, make top tens and all, all that stuff. I mean, that that's that was originally my uh, my idea, but now, recently, I've I've decided, you know, to expand my horizons and you know, do all different sorts of stuff. And you know, that, I mean, I, I want I want you guys to actually, you know, give me give me anything. I mean, you know, I'm I'm. I'll I'll gladly do literally anything. I mean, it's it's you know what? Instead of like calling myself anime freak, I'm actually thinking of calling myself geek freak instead of anime freak because, I mean, I think geek freak has more of a of a ring to it simply because, well, I mean, an anim an anime fan, you know, only likes anime, but a geek, you know, likes you know pretty pretty much anything if you, if you think about it. I mean, like I said, I mean, there's I like documentaries, I like. Um, South Park, and you know, <laughs> yeah, My Little Pony. Yeah, m many of you are probably going to be saying, "Oh, but that isn't that worse." Eh. It's a, it's a, it's a good, it's a good show. I, I have to admit, but, <clears throat> but anyways, yes. <sighs> what I'm trying to get at is that he's he's right. Most of the stuff on there is absolutely right, <sighs> and. To be honest, I understand why people call you know call anime fans weeaboos. I th I thought I thought it was just a t term for like calling an anime fans well anime fan well anime fans just weeaboos. You know, it says oh you're an anime fan oh you you're a weeaboo then. I thought it was just like a general slur, but now that I understand what you know what the literal term means, I feel actually disgusted with myself <laughs> because. I mean, I'm not, I'm not into that high school, um, young, young girl sort of stuff. I'm not into that sort of stuff. I, like I said, I mean, I like stuff like Trigun, Cowboy Bebop, Monster, Ghost in the Shell, Akira, that that stuff. I love that stuff. I mean, uh, Death Though, that was fantastic. Full Metal Alchemist, that was brilliant. And, but these days, it's just, ugh. I mean, you guys understand, don't you? I mean, I mean, even even though I am a an anime fan. I just, I mean, what ever happened to all the all the fantastic great stuff that we used to watch when we when we were um, younger? I mean, it's it's just high school girls now. It, we, what, what now? Because after after like you know watching this and after like hearing that documentary for my sister, it just. I mean, I wouldn't say it's like rubbed off on me. I mean, don't get me wrong. I still like anime, but I mean, not not today's anime. It just doesn't appeal to me anymore, which is sad because 
it's all thanks to the, all this violence and all, all this mature stuff that actually got me into it. It wasn't like high school girls or anything like that. It was just, you know, like, you know, I mean, Full Metal Alchemist, that was a great story, wasn't it? I mean, two brothers trying to find the Sylvester Stone. Uh, Spike Spiegel, where, where, he's, where, he's trying, where he's trying to um, earn a living being a bounty hunter. And the music, oh my god, the music. Trigon, that was that was funny, but at the same time it was serious. Um, Monster, oh my god, one, one of the, the greatest anime series of all time. Death Note, that was serious, but that was fantastic. Um, Fate Zero, oh my god, the the... the, the ideals that bounce off each other that, that was amazing giant robot that was a good story so yeah i understand well what what this what um, filthy frank is um talking about i understand him completely what 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 he means i mean even if he was to make you know make this as a joke and you know bring some bring bring truth into into that joke i understand what he's saying and to be honest, I mean the, the majority of of, my, of of anime in here, you know, is doesn't have really as any like any high school girl, girl stuff. But all the new stuff that I, I bought went on DVD, it's you know it's 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 starting to like to slowly you know show you know more an, anime anime girls and or anime high school, high school stuff. I mean the majority in here is like either shonen. Or um like nineties tint stuff, uh, early two thousands. But the oh, but these days it just oh. yeah. I'm I'm, so, I'm starting to see the frustrating frustration now. Ah, there we go. <clears throat> so yeah, I do apologize for um for this long rant. So I hope you guys understand what what I'm, what I'm trying to say. I I understand, I understand why some people wanted wanted me to watch this, and I'm a little disgusted with myself being an anime fan. But at the same time, I'm going to you know defend myself. Oh, I'll say it again. I'm gonna I'm gonna um, defend myself as an anime anime fan. I mean, I mean people can make fun of anime as much as they want. I mean I'm, I don't I don't care. I'm 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 more. You know, laid back now. I mean, but maybe back in the day when when I first started, I was saying that oh, anime is better than anything that you've ever liked, or oh, Superman can't beat be Goku. Um, well, actually, well, actually, no, that was like you know before my time. But um, you know, since it was like Screw Attack, yeah, I know I keep on bringing that up, but you know, since Screw Attack, you know, brought reason why Superman would win, I I gave into them, but 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 you know, I mean, in recent years, I've you know I'm more like laid back and I'm more. You know, more open to like new things, and you know, more open to um like di different things, and more open to like listening to other people's opinions. I'm more open to all that sort of stuff, and I, <laughs> I again, I understand what he's saying, and which is why I have decided to na rename my channel Geek Freak instead of Anime Freak. So which 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 means that I like I like anything geeky. Like you know, like like I said, documentaries, cartoons, comic books, uh, games. As as you guys can see on my um, on my channel, I'm, I'm, I've been playing like games. So, <laughs> yes. Whew. I bet you guys are getting sick and tired of me just saying the same thing over and over again. <laughs> but, yeah, Fil Fil filthy Frank, thank you very very much for um, show show me this. Well, make, making this. It was funny, informative, and true. <laughs> very, very true. <clears throat> good video. It was it was a good video. So, um, yeah, if, if you guys if you guys could actually find that documentary that I was telling you about earlier on, uh, please link it to me because um, I really want really want to watch that. I want to find out what um what uh, that's all about. So yeah, there you go. So uh, yeah, that that was all well and good. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Thank you guys for watching. And if there's a series you want me to check out and review and give my thoughts on it. Or if there's a top 10 list you want me to do. Or any reactions or responses or rants on anything geeky. Just leave links and comments in the comment sections below. And I'll get to them as soon as I can. And if you guys want to follow me on my social medias. I'm on Minds.com, Twitch, Dailymotion and Hatron, Reddit, Discord, Vidme, Gab, Twitter. 
Tumblr, Patreon, GoFundMe, PayPal, and my other social medias are down there in the description box below. So if you want to go and check them out, please do. And don't forget to subscribe and share this video. And please go and check out my new skeptic channel, Gypsy Freak. It's also down there in the description box below. Peace out.